the requirement to connect to the internet we need an arrangement or a setup that automatically assigns us a public ip address to help us get our devices connected to the internet this task is performed by nat that is also known as network address translation hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by simply learn but before we begin if you love watching tech videos subscribe to our channel or hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us now without further ado let's begin with the agenda for today's session to start with we will look into some details regarding network address translation continuing with knowing what is nat addresses different types of nat available in the network channel and in the end we will look into some disadvantages and advantages of applying nat in a network channel let's move on with the first heading what is network address translation the motive behind implementing nat is to allow several network devices to connect to the internet by a single public address the nat model is a method to conserve ip addresses by using a unique address to represent the whole private network and the mentioned public ip address is a globally recognized ip address to access the internet Let's move on to some more details regarding network address translation. The task of NAT process is to translate a private IP address in a network to a globally recognized public IP address and vice versa. That is the same process begins from public IP address to a private IP address. This task is performed by a router or a NAT firewall. Let's move on. The flow of this process is something similar like the router configured acts as an interface between the private network and the public network. That means the private network will communicate with the router when it wants to access an internet. Same is the case for public addresses too. When the public address wants to communicate with the private network, the router will convert it to a private network ID and allow us to access the internet. The reason behind applying NAT process is to conserve public IP addresses. To be more specific, it's IPv4 addresses and it also provides much better security to the network. Now let's move on to the next topic. NAT addresses. There are different types of terms used in NAT process. More specifically, there are some addresses information that are necessary to understand the process which takes place during network translation. We will discuss them one by one. Let's take a look at the first address. Before we begin, let's take a look at the example. This is a general or a simple form of NAT translation process. We have a private network, a private device, a router, a public network that we can access internet through. The first term that is used is known as inside local address. This IP address represents the host of the private network and this cannot access the internet directly unless provided by an ISP server. After we have the inside local address through the private network, we share it with the router. When the router receives this private network ID, it converts it to the public network that is known as inside global address. This IP address represents the whole private network for the outside network and is used to access the internet for the private network. Now let's move on to the remaining IP addresses for NAT. 
according to this example now we are returning from a public network to the private network please keep that in mind according to this the address type next comes up with outside global address this ip address represents the outside network address for the host before nat process took place then we have outside local address this ip address represents the actual address representing the host on the internet after the nat process takes place now let's move on to the next setting in the topic Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1,000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Types of NAT. There are different types of NAT available on the internet or in the network channel, but we will discuss three generally used ones. Where the first one is known as static NAT. According to static NAT process, in the given private network, each device will have a particular or a single IP address publicly designed to them. That means if you have two devices in your private network, you'll have two different types of public IP addresses for each of those IP addresses that is available in your private network. Due to this property of the static NAT process, it is also known as one-to-one -one NAT and is mostly used for personal addresses. For example, please take a look at the diagram below. If we have a single IP address in a private network, we will have a single public IP address for the same. Again, if we have another private IP address in the private network, we will have a public IP address for the same. This represents static network. Let's move on to the next one. The next type of NAT process is known as dynamic NAT. For the dynamic NAT process, private network addresses is translated to public addresses from a pool of public IP addresses available to the communication channel. That is something similar to this. According to the example, if we have two private addresses available in the network, then we have two pool of public addresses too, out of which we can convert the private address to a public address. And for example, if we have a third private address and only two possible public addresses pool, then the third address is dropped. Let's take a look at the diagram for a clarification. This is the pool of public addresses available for this network, out of which we converted 192.168.32.10 to 213.18. 0.123 to 0.100. Now let's move on to the last type of NAT available. This NAT is known as port address translation. In port address translation of NAT, the process takes place something similar like this. All the available private IP addresses in the private network are converted to a single available IP address publicly recognized. That means if you have five private networks in your available network, you will have a single public IP address available to all of them. Due to this nature of this process, it is also known as NAT overload. But the catch is all the addresses in the private network available will have different port number assigned to differentiate between them. For example, 192.168.32.10 is translated to 213.18.123.100.101, where 101 represents the port number. Similarly, for the second private network we have, 
192.168.32.12, which translates to 213.18.123.100, that is similar with the earlier case. But the change comes over 0 0.102, that is the port number assigned to the second private address. Now let's take up a small quiz to refresh all the topics that we did so far. And the first question is, what does outside local address refer to in NAT? Your options are name of inside source address before translation, name of destination host before translation, name of inside host after translation, name of outside destination host after translation. Please read the options very carefully to answer this. Now let's move on to the next question. And the question is, PAT address is also termed as, PAT refers to port address translation. Option A, static net. Option B, one to one NAT. Option C, NAT overload. And option D, NAT overlapping. You can give your answers in the comment section. Now let's move on to the last heading for this session. That is, advantages and disadvantages of applying NAT in a network channel. Let's take a look at the first advantage of using NAT. NAT provides privacy and security measures to the private address as it converts the private address to a public address through which we can prevent our ID from being hacked over the internet. Let's move on to the next advantage. NAT process is applied to conserve approved IP addresses over the network channel. As discussed earlier in the previous slides, NAT process helps to conserve us IPv4 addresses. Now let's look into some disadvantages of applying NAT in the network channel. And the first disadvantage is NAT translation leads to part delay and prevents some applications to lose their access over the network channel. Now let's take a look at the second disadvantage. According to the NAT process, router is the one that translates a private address to a public address or vice versa. During this process, it does happen to tamper with the port numbers, as we already discussed. But according to the rules set by the network channel, router is not usually allowed to hamper with the port numbers, but it has to because of NAT. With this, we have reached the end of this session. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.